What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at five more hidden features inside the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the channel, I like to throw these videos together to give you guys, if you are looking for a Tiguan or a new Volkswagen in general, or you already have gotten your hands on one, I want you to know every single feature that your Tiguan is hiding underneath all of the bells and whistles and promotional material. Now, sometimes these things are not uh, the most flashy things or, or the most um, over the top beneficial but I want you to know every single in and out of your new vehicle. So some of these things you may already know about, and that's awesome, leave a comment down below, let me know you know, that's great, I'm glad you guys are well informed, but for those that aren't and have not had the opportunity to dive deep into this vehicle, I'm here to help you. So I've already made a part one, you can check that in the card above, but this one we're gonna go over five more kind of little tiny things here and there that you may not know that your Tiguan can do. So let's start with number one, and that is the automatic electronic parking brake. So how this is gonna work is, let's say you're driving along, you're pulling out of the driveway maybe as an example, and you are in reverse and you wanna hop out and grab something, move it out of the way real quick. Maybe there's a bike behind the car or a skateboard or something like that, or you wanna grab the mail real quick. Well, instead of having to shift the car into park again and then get out, if you are in drive already, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on, go into drive here, and then if I unlock the door and open it, the parking brake is gonna automatically engage. So it kinda did jolt, jolt me forward a little bit, but the parking brake is on and now I can let off the gas and I don't move at all. So super, super helpful. Then I can just hop out, grab whatever I need, hop back in, press the parking brake down, and we're good to keep going. Now, obviously, this is not something you wanna use regularly because it's much safer if you go ahead and just put your car into park and do the whole nine. But if you're trying to do something really quick, this is an option and it will save you if you do you know, forget to shift back into park. If you guys are into technology at all, kind of outside of the car space, while at the same time kind of in the car space, check out my all new tech channel, Mets Tech. I'll have a clip of it up here on screen, linked there and down in the description as well. Basically, it's my way to still talk and review cars, but maybe outside of the brands we have here at the dealership, and at the same time, review tech that I'm into and that I think you guys would be into as well. So head over there, I've got a review of the all new 2020 iPad Pro, as well as the dash cam I'm currently using, which is the Nexar Beam. I did a full review of that over on that channel. Head over there, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on some of those videos, drop some comments, let me know you guys are there. It would really help me out. I think I have about 55-ish subscribers, so I'm really trying to grow that channel and make it into something big with your all's help. Let's get back in the video. Now, number two and number three come from the navigation system. So if you don't have a Tiguan that has navigation enabled, then unfortunately this isn't gonna be available to you. But for those who do, there's two little cool things about the navigation and how it interacts with the digital dash. So number two mainly is full screen navigation. Now, this is more one of the hidden features that's maybe more a little bit well-known, maybe more mainstream, you may already have heard about it. But if you haven't, you can go to navigation on your system. And then once it's loaded, there's a button here that looks like uh, the picture of the navigation switching over to what well, looks like a camera, but it's actually the digital dash. So if you go ahead and push that button, the navigation is going to disappear from this main eight inch entertainment center here, go over to the digital dash. Now you may see it as the navigation with the two gauges on either side. If you wanna get rid of that, you just hit the view button once or twice depending on how far you are into the menu systems and boom, there you go, full screen navigation right across that digital dash. It looks awesome. Uh, you can get your turn by turn directions on there. You can see where you're at, all kinds of good stuff right there on the digital dash. Additionally, if you have your lights turned to auto, as you go maybe under a tunnel or it turns from day to night, that navigation system will automatically switch into dark mode or night mode, uh, which looks fantastic. So number three, it could be maybe considered two and a half, but we'll go ahead and give it three. I call it rocket mode. I don't know what the actual name of it is, uh, but I like to refer to it as such because it has a rocket on it. But if you've got the navigation open, just hit your distance indicator button, which is right here, and you'll get the option to either search auto or hit a rocket. So let's go ahead and hit that rocket and it will shoot you all the way up into the sky in the navigation so you can get a whole overview of basically the entire city that you're in. So obviously we're here in Louisville, Kentucky. So when I hit that rocket mode, it goes from exactly where I am now 
boom, all the way back so I can see the entire city. So you've got the city view then, but we're at a two mile radius per tick. But then if you go ahead and hit it again, it's gonna zoom all the way out and give you the surrounding area. So that then you're at a 30 mile radius per tick. But if you hit it again, boom, you get the whole freaking country. You can just look around anywhere you want. And if you wanna quickly get back to where you were, push the little magnifying glass and it'll take you right back down. This could be super handy if you're just trying to figure out where you are. You know, if you're driving through maybe an unknown area on a trip and you wanna say, well, what's actually like around here? Like, what am I actually driving through? Boom, rocket mode will give you all that information right there. Super handy, super neat, and it's hidden. The number four is another hidden one, and you may have seen it and just not known what it was, but it is the SD card slot holder. So as you may know, in most Volkswagens, you have an SD card slot. Now this not only works for your navigation system to store the actual software for the navigation, but you can also display images on the screen by inserting an SD card with images on there and then popping open the images option here. So I've talked about that in past videos. It's not the most interesting thing out there that you can view images because I don't know why you'd want to if you have a you know a smartphone that's just about the same size as this and way more photos, but you can do it if you want to. But that's not the hidden part. The hidden part is that inside the glove box where you would actually insert these navigation and SD card slots to the left of that is an odd looking little area. It looks kind of like a pill with some lines through it, maybe like a fence post. It's odd. But if you want to, I'm going to go ahead and use the navigation SD card as an example. You can pop that out and you can just stick it right up in there. And there's actually two slots. So you can up store up to four SD cards all right here just by two in the slots and then two in the storage slots. So I think that's kind of cool. Uh, additionally, another kind of hidden one that's in the glove box is there's actually a coin holder. So usually your coin holders are over here uh, by your cup holders, but not here in the TIG one. It's inside the glove box and you can slide coins right down into there. Uh, and you can't store very many, uh, unfortunately, but if you do need to carry a little change, that's where you'd put it. Next to that, you also have a slot where you can store business cards, insurance cards, things like that. So a lot of nice little storage configurations inside the glove box. So that was number four. Now the fifth and final one is actually super handy. And I didn't even know this existed until I made my previous 2019 TIG one overview and uh, secret features videos. But you can actually scoot the rear seats forward and backwards and lean them. So you may have known about the leaning one because there's a little tug handle, but you, yes, you can't scoot them forward and backwards if you don't have enough space there in the back. So let's hop back there and take a look. All right, so back here, like I mentioned, you have this little loop here. You can go ahead and grab that. <laughs> Whoa, uh, your 60-40 folding split seats will come down, but you can also pull this out a little bit and push the seats back so they will recline. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing, as I always say, because not having reclining rear seats is an actual pain. So you can just push them back a little bit to lean them. Additionally, this is tough on the 60-40, on the 60 part of the 60-40, but you can actually grab this handle right here and then really just brace yourself. Give it a huge slide. There you go. They can slide forward a lot. So if you need a little extra trunk space and you don't want to have to fold the rear seats down, you can do that. Um, but again, this is not uh, super comfortable for rear passengers. So not the best, but if they're up too far, let's say they're about here, you know, and you don't love that, you need a little extra leg room, grab that handle and just push it back and boom, you've got sliding forward and back and reclining rear seats. It's hot. It's about 86 degrees and I'm wearing pants. All right, guys, and those are five more hidden features inside your 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, did I miss one or which one was your favorite? Let's have a conversation down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see my full review of every single new 2020 and 2021 Volkswagen the second they hit our lots. We'll see you in the next one.